Give me the loot. Give me the loot. What's up, guys? Muzzlefuzzle here, and we're playing some Diablo 3 beta once again, as you can see by the gameplay in the background. I'm playing on my Barbarian, using my two-handed sword, fighting off some Tomb Guardians, going through the Cathedral. But uh, what I want to talk about today is a little bit more topical. I want to talk about loot and uh, loot in Diablo 3 specifically, but uh, loot in other video games as well. Now, the looting in this game is kind of like uh, World of Warcraft or other kind of MMORPG type of games where it has kind of a randomness to it, but it also has like a, a rarity level to it. Like the, the items in this game, uh, gray items are kind of shitty items that you can just sell or break down, like uh, that crude tarred shield that I just picked up right there. Then you've got white items, which are normal items. You've got blue items, which are magical items. And then you've got yellow items, which are rare items. And uh, so there's, there's kind of a, a rarity classification system built into the game. But at the same time, there's also a randomness to buffs to the item, to the magical properties of the item itself. So when you're crafting an item with blacksmithing, sometimes you'll make like a two-handed sword of the bear or two-handed sword of the lion. And those will give different boosts to different abilities and, uh, or not abilities, different boosts to different like skill sets like uh, magic or attack or defense, things like that. And uh, basically playing whatever character you're playing on, whatever class you're playing on, of five classes in this game, you're going to want specific traits more than others. So like as a warrior, you're going you're gonna to want attack speed, you're going to want damage, you're going to want crit, but you're not really going to want anything that boosts magic damage or gives you like elemental damage or anything like that. Uh, you might if you want to make like kind of a hybrid character, but as far as I go, when I play my Barbarian, I'm looking for crit, I'm looking for damage, and uh, health as well. Health is a big deal, and health per five seconds is really good too if you can uh, get some health regen going. But the, the looting in this game is comparable to other games that I've played, and I don't know about you guys in your gaming history, and this is kind of embarrassing for me to say, but my first looting game that I ever played was RuneScape, and that was back when I was like 10 or 11 years old, it was when I was in 4th or 5th grade, and uh, this was back in the, the 2D RuneScape days when you had to connect on a dial-up 56k loud ass modem to the internet, and uh, it was like my first online gaming experience to be honest, and that was my first looting game, let me know what your guys' first looting game was in the comments below, but as far as Diablo 3 is concerned, the looting in this game looks really good, they've got the randomness, they've got the item classification, um, there's different uh, items that are class specific, like you got cloaks for demon hunters, uh, you got uh, uh, hand crossbows for demon hunters, masks and voodoo heads for witch doctors, stuff like that. It's looking really good. This was another Diablo 3 quickie video. I got more Diablo 3 content coming your way soon. If you like the video, leave a like, and I will see you guys later.